Hello and welcome. I want to pull an order today and then I want to spend a bit of time talking about postcards. I had a banner day for postcards yesterday, but first let's uh, pull that order. It's a GE clock radio. Clock radios, um, if you can get them for inexpensive, actually do pretty good. Vintage ones. And uh, this is a GE. I don't know the model number offhand because unfortunately the little um, label came off at some point before I bought it. Put this away and I'll bring it up a little closer. I got two clock radios at the elephant's trunk, this and another GE one uh, for $5, so $2.50 in on this one. Works fine. Uh, front's slightly cloudy, which I noted, but uh, the, the numbers shine through fine anyway. So uh, $11.99 on this one. So I'll pull some box, I'll pull a box and I'll ship that in a bit. But I want to talk a little bit about postcards. So the most co postcards I ever have uh, yesterday, I sold 10 of them and four the highest prices as well. Let me um, show those. They're all based around the same area, Northfield, Vermont, uh, or Norwich University. And uh, so for, I sold one. This is $12.99 stable at Norwich University to one buyer. And then I had another buyer who bought nine, uh, all Norwich University uh, and a few that are just scenes around Northfield, Vermont, all real photo postcards. Not going to be sending these. Originally, uh, this buyer just bought three, would have put them into the standard envelope and sent them that way, these photo, excuse me, these postcard envelopes. But instead, because uh, he bought so many and it's about $120 worth, um, I'm do, you know putting it in a package and doing a ground advantage. So I got all those postcards at either the Elephant's Trunk or Brimfield and into them for anywhere, depending on the lot, I bought eight cents to, I don't know, 15 cents um, and uh, sold a bunch of them, $12.99, $14.99, uh, just postcards is a business now. Speaking of which, let me move the camera slightly here because I did buy a lot of postcards recently. I want to talk just slightly about this. So... Bought a lot of 500 postcards. Got them for, is it like 18 cents a card? I saw enough there that it was worth it. I have these spread out, not because uh, I'm kind of, you know, sorting them. I actually do that inside. It's because, I mean, postcards are all, a lot of these postcards are more than 100 years old. Bit of a musty smell, more musty than usual. Not to the individual cards, but if you, if you have a pile and you kind of go up to it. So I've been spreading them out and they're, you know, they take a day and they air out just fine. But this is kind of the cream of the crop. What I usually do is when I get a bunch of postcards, I go through and I pull an initial, I do an initial pull, and that's kind of like the cream of the crop. At the same time, I do kind of like a second level pull. So for something like this, these are all $5 and above. Um, and then the, the, I think it's about 37 of those. And then I have another pile here, which is probably about, yeah, it's probably about 80 cards. And uh, these are three, four uh, dollar postcards. So a little bit of overlap with the pricing, but of course that's not all the postcards. <laughs> then I still have a couple of uh, here, a couple of piles which are foreign and just, you know, dollar, two dollar postcards. Most likely what I'll do is I'll lop these up. And then I've got a bunch of uh, motel postcards. And what I've been doing is, 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 is pulling all these out. I probably have a lot of close to 100. And I'm just going to sell that. I'm not sure that's an eBay sale. I know, you know, eBay, it's really all about the real photo postcards. But I've been looking into starting a shop on Etsy and, and something like this, you know, very 50s kind of oriented, I think would, would go pretty well. So... There's so many postcards out there and every, everywhere I go. I mean, the good postcards you really got to dig for. And eBay is not the best place for that. I can, uh, I, I actually did luck out the other day and uh, let me move the camera back. I actually did luck, luck out the other day and got a, a, a lot of real photo postcards, um, just 10 of them. But uh, it's about, was about 80, I think I estimated about 80 or $90 worth of postcards and it cost 850 so... 
It's a lot of work, though. It's uh, it's it's not it's not easy work. You, you, it's hard to find very very good postcards in small affordable lots, um, but you can also get sucked into buying big lots of thousand postcards or more, and then you end up with a ton of postcards. I bought a couple of lots like that from eBay, and I'm kind of done with that. Not saying you know that everything was described accurately, but just the amount of cards that I can get in the money. While I will make money, it's it's not as much from a lot. Where I do have luck is old school flea markets and things like that, I can actually look at the lot and then determine what's the best price to pay or what I will pay. But, but I can see everything and I'll know within five seconds whether it's worth uh, buying or not. So eBay, not really necessarily the best place to buy postcards, but when it, if you're sourcing and it's hard to find uh, other ones, and believe me, it, there's a lot of people see you know a postcard that looks like this, and they're like, "Ooh, that's really old. This must be worth like fifty dollars." And you, you you know you see a stack of maybe ten, and they're trying to get like fifty, sixty bucks, and it's like, "No, sorry, <laughs> I, I I can't make anything with that." And it's a shame because there's a lot of good cards out there too. They're just too expensive, but. All right, so enough about postcards. I do want to show one more thing. So I got to pull a box for this. I'm not going to show that. But I did talk the other day about the boxes I get from my daughter who works at a candle company. And uh, I was wrong. I said they were thick but not double corrugated. But actually they are. Um, <laughs> these are the best boxes for small stuff. Uh, and not only that, you know, they come with a cardboard top. Sometimes there's cardboard around the, the side. These candles, they're, they're, they're big candles. They're like four or five wick candles with, they're heavy, they're glass. So those are really good. All right, that's enough for today. I'm going to pull the box for, for this and ship everything out. Thanks for watching and good luck selling.